Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And this is part two of Final Girl. These are the bonus extra stuff that you can get when you back the original Kickstarter. I backed it. I got all my expansions, the vignette expansion, and also uh, the core box as well. Remember um, that you can only get these when you back the actual Kickstarter. These were the, the Kickstarter extras that you've received you know, for a couple extra bucks at the end of the day um, to make sure that you got, you know, the complete package. Uh, so one of it is the miniature package, which is right here. And again, oops, sorry about that. The miniature package, which we got here, which we're going to go over today. And we have the lore and scenario book. We'll start with that first. So again, you can't use any of this stuff without using the Final Girl Core Box set. Uh, you need that to use uh, to be able to play any of the expansions or anything mentioned in the book here. The figures, of course, you could always use those for different games and stuff like that, too, if you choose to. But again, these replace the meeples that come with uh, all the um, that come in the core box set. So uh, we'll get into this in a, in a minute. Uh, let's do the Lauren scenario book first. Of course, this is a pretty hefty book here. This is something that came along in the Kickstarter, which is kind of said, if you're missing something from your order, let them know. All right. I got everything about two years ago. All right. So here we go. It says here, introduction, table of contents. So you have Hans, the lore and scenario, poltergeist, lore and scenario. In Kenyamba, lore and scenario. Gepe Geppetto, lore and scenario. Dr. Fright, terror from above, final girls. All your final girls from all the expansions. So... Hans Butcher gives you a little background information about him and Camp Happy Trails. And Night of the Pig. Again, you can use the final girl. It's another just another scenario to use with the Camp, um, the camp Happy Trails. Okay, Slaughterhouse, Vacations from Hell. Traps and Killers and Clowns, oh my, and a final nightmare. Okay. Again, you have to understand something. Once again, Hans, the butcher, can be used in any of the expansions. So if you want him to show up at the, at the uh, you know, Creech Manor, he can do that. You know, but these are more expansions that you can use with Camp Happy Trails. Next, the Poltergeist. Okay. We know that comes from Creech Manor. We know that. Okay. Ghost Hunters. Chaos, chaos at the camp. Only the gods can help her. Again, these are how those characters can be used in the other expansions. A Johnson family outing. Okay. Escape to the burbs. So up here it tells you it tells you the uh, the cards which you're gonna use for the for the villain and which board you're gonna use. So there. It tells you right there. Okay. Whether it's the circus or the town. And Kenyambra, again, scenarios for each of the different boards. This Girl Must Die, Dark Haired Demon, Unforgettable Betrayal, Wrath and Games, Adelaide, I Am Your Father. Okay, again, it tells you everything you need to know, the background information, the final girl that you're going to use to set up, the items, the events, the Carnival of Blood Terror Cards, and Kenyamba Terror Cards, Dark Power, and the Finale Card. And the special rules for each of the games. It tells you right there. Again, you want to use Geppetto. Background information about him. And how you use him in the other expansions. The final attractions. Master ceremonies. A life of their own. Honor thy father. And suburban showdown. Dr. Fright. Again. He's from Maple Lane. But you can use him in all the other ones. So if you want to use them at the camp, at the, over here, at the town, the Smollies must die. Go to Camp Sleepy Trails. Over here, you're going to the house tonight. We're going to party like it's 666. Divine Dreams. And Greatest Fright on Earth at the Circus. All right. Terror from Above. If you want to use this in any, that's the vignette that we talked about in one of the other videos that we did. 
vignette can be used, of course, at the camp with cursed kids. Uh, the house, uh, Necroami Come Home, Terror in the Groves, Birds of Play, Birds in the Burbs. And these are uh, the figures for each of the characters. As you can tell, that's what the figure looks like. There you go, that's Lori, that's Rico. You've got Alice, you've got Selena. You've got Barbara, you've got Adelaide. You've got Charlie. Uh, this is Asami. This is Sheila, and this is Nancy. Last but not least is Melanie, which would be for Terror from Above. That's the girl from there. And to be continued. So that's a lore and scenario book for additional scenarios for the final girl, utilizing all the expansions you have the rules and everything are explained in here and it gives you a background history about all the different girls that are here and the accompanying figure that goes with them okay but again once a reminder again for all these without the core box this book is kind of useless so you have to have the core box and of course to use a lot of these scenarios you have to own all the expansions to do so okay again this was just an add-on that was included with the uh, that you can order from uh, Van Ryder Games when the Kickstarter originally came out and of course the final add-on we're going to talk about is the Final Girl Miniatures Series 1 20 high quality miniatures to enhance your Final Girl experience in the back so includes miniatures for the following feature films and vignette Camp Happy Trails, Sacred Groves, Maple Lane, Terror from Above, Carnival Blood and Creech Manor so let's open this up. Oops, I just ripped the box. Now it's that's not good when that happens. And there are all your figures. So you got Hans. Poltergeist. These figures are 28 millimeter. You have Geppetto, the puppeteer. Kanyamba. Again, I got my comfortable sweater on. Don't mind its ratiness. All right. You also have Hans. We already said him. And last but not least, you have Dr. Fright. This pitchfork hand. There he is. And you also have your puppets for the puppeteer. Got three of those. You have the little girl from the house with her little stuffed animal. And then you have all your final girls.
Now, what I really like about the Final Girl system in general, one, it's a solo game, which is really, really cool because there's not that many solo games out there. It's That's a positive. It's also a drawback, in my opinion, because I do have two daughters, so I like playing games with my, my two daughters. I have a daughter who's seven years old, and I have a daughter who's 12 years old. And the reality is um, they love playing games with their father. So... You can't play these games with them, but you can teach them how to play it solo. But I always like playing cooperative games with my kids. So if you're gonna paint it, you always fix that up and take that out. Good, beautiful. There you have it. Another one of the final girls. She's got her axe. And again, all the final girls have their special weapons with them that come in that little dossier folders. So that's really cool. The bat and shield. There it is. The garbage can lid. Of course, if you like the meeples, keep using the meeples. You don't like the meeples, use these instead. I always tend to like figures a little bit more. But the meeples are cool. In this case, for this game, because the boards are small, uh, the meeples do look a little bit better on, on the board. But again, those are all the figures that you receive. And you get a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You get 20 figures in that box there. So that wraps up the final uh, video for the final girl uh, Kickstarter. Been had, we've had quite a few videos with this. So in this one, again, we're finishing it up with the Final Girl. These are the add-ons, the Final Girl lore and scenario book, which is, again, it was an add-on that you get only if you back the Kickstarter. Uh, also, another add-on was the Terraform Above, which we did a separate video on for that. And of course, the figures for the Final Girl set covers all the figures that you get in all the expansions, which are Cap, Camp Happy Trails, Sacred Groves, Maple Lane, Cheech Manor, uh, Carnival of Blood, and Terror from Above. Now, again, if you have any questions regarding any of these, whether you can still pick them up, again, these were add-ons for the original Kickstarter. I know they're doing the um, second round of uh, feature films for Volume 2 of uh, uh, Final Girl. Uh, so if you're backing that Kickstarter, you had the opportunity to buy all the previous expansions. I believe the figures and all this stuff here you can get as well. Um, but again, go to your local retail store. You probably will not find them. But if you go to VanRiderGames.com, you probably can find it there. Possibly. Can't speak on behalf because they may be uh, only purchased through the Kickstarter events. They may not have any extras laying around just for uh, people who didn't back the pad, Kickstarter. But anyway, this is everything for this unboxing video. Again, the figures, Terror from Above, Lore, these are all the add-ons for, um, for Final Girl. Again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. Um, as always, if you enjoyed it, give me a like. Uh, you can leave a comment below. If you have any questions, you can put those below. Of course, you subscribe to the page. This way you can find out if there's any more cool stuff that was being released on the on the page here. Um, again, if you use anything for the Final Girl um, board game, you must have a copy. Of course, you must have a copy of the core rules, which is right here, which you need for every game. 
and to play any of the expansions. Well, again, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, be well, enjoy the rain of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.